Hi. This is, uh, shoot, I thought I was recording a second ago and I wasn't. <laughs> Move, Noah. So, and there is all the eggs. I was wondering where these babies were coming from. I want to show you. We have um, cute little chicken here. Now, um, we've done nothing to encourage this. We didn't realize she was missing. She just showed up yesterday with 11 little babies. Um, so, that's exciting. And um, I'm going to move away from this section because I'm getting her nervous. And I want to tell you about another group of babies. Okay, so we're walking towards the next group of babies, which is a very interesting group here because what we have is we have Sugar here. She's a turkey. And you can see the grass moving around. I doubt we're gonna get that close. You can see her little babies coming out there. She has three. Those are not baby turkeys though, they're baby chickens. Um, sometimes the chickens will lay eggs on top of turkey eggs. They like to lay eggs in a big communal pile and then somebody sits on them. My guess is that the chicken eggs hatched before the turkey eggs and she's, she's a very good mama and she's taken off after these three. So, um... We've tried to like, you know, if you ask why, why don't we cage them or whatever, we've tried to put them in the cage, but the little ones are able to get out of the cage. So we have a situation where mama is stuck in a cage and the babies are running around outside with no protection. So we like, um, we like to just go ahead and let her free range and we're willing to accept the consequences of that because we're not really trying to have any chicken babies um, but it's happening sort of on its own um, and every time it happens like these uh, little chickens that I seen we freshly filled the pond yesterday so I imagine the geese are gonna have a blast when we let them out but um, so um, you know, there, there's a time when we are buying certain chickens in and putting them in the incubator and trying to protect them in the house. And, um, we really don't want to do that because we don't want a great number of chickens, but we don't want to deprive the chickens from doing what their natural calling is. And especially if they can do it. Now, with that said, we had a, uh, group of... 13 babies that had two moms and we only have one left. I'll show you him in a minute And since there was 13 babies and only one left we named him lucky and um, He's the biggest chick we have right now and um, Nobody watches over him and then the fourth set we had is a hen showed up with one little baby so we have four different sets. We have these three here. We have the 11 up underneath the trailer. We have one left out of the batch of 13 and then another single that just showed up. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up. You see how the little turkey got in? I'm um, not the little turkey, the little chick got in there and is drinking water. They can get in and out of the cage, but the mom can't when we lock her up. So we didn't delete, she, she hatched them in the wild, so we sort of leave them wild going. By the way, anybody interested in any, any roosters soon, please let me know, because I have a feeling we're going to have a couple of them. <laughs> we always have too many. So, and then Captain is trying to do the nasty with sugar right off the bat. Go figure. So then we'll come over here, and I have to warn you, our coop's getting run down and stuff, so I'm not really, like, videotaping our coop as an ideal situation, but I keep pondering different thoughts to replace it, but really haven't come up with 
uh, solution. Over here, talking about wild nesting, we've got Delilah. Um, she is waiting for us to open up the coop so she can eat, but she's been sitting on eggs in the wild every day. And you can see the little chick there. And then back there is little Lucky. So, and the little chick Michael has named BB because the mom's name is Biscuit. So it's Baby Biscuit. So it's BB. So, hi. Woohoo! Yay! Me, uh, come in. All right. So, oh, we just laid an egg on the ground here. Isn't that great, guys? So there is little BB. And Biscuit isn't even out here. I noticed that yesterday that uh, Mom isn't hanging out. Biscuit is one of the girls out here. And I guess that um, Lucky's already taken off because, and he hides up in the yard pretty good. So, and then here's the geese. We filled that up yesterday with filled up water. Generally speaking, they, uh, they splash the water out of it pretty quickly when we fill it up. Usually Sonny gets pretty excited about that. And then see Noah right there. He's being such a good dog with all this chickenery going on. He's taking a look at that pond though. He likes it. Everybody likes the pond. Say hi, Noah. Yeah, the geese are generally hoard the pond. <laughs> Not forever, just for a little while. Till they get the water splashed out of it real good. Are you photobombing, Noah? You're a beautiful little photo bomber. Anyhow, so I've been enjoying my blessing and um, I always feel like when all the little babies show up that it is a special blessing. It's like a calling to come back out to the uh, great earth that God has given us and blessed us with. And animals have always build a special place in my heart so i hope you are enjoying the summer and that your animals are also enjoying the summer and may you have little um free i don't want to call it free range you know i almost want to call it regenerative uh chickens here comes mama with a little babe with little in the background you may not see it with this camera but it's cute. She's running with a little baby behind her. She might actually have two mamas interested in mama mama ring. And well, I never dreamed that too. That that's another fact. Uh, before when we were hatching eggs, we would always try and uh, bring out babies to see if the moms would take care of them, and it was always not a good thing. But for some reason this year, they just seem to be okay being with the big flock nobody messes with them um it's just interesting how things have evolved anyhow um 
like I say, it's it's fantastic. I got such beautiful views of all these gorgeous animals. I have these turkeys that um, want to uh, create a uh, circle of art around me. They keep walking and parading around showing me their tails, these three boys here. We've got um, Samson, Kane, and Captain. And Noah, he's licking my shoulder for whatever reason. You being a goofy dog. You're being a goofy dog. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. Bye, and thanks for stopping by. I had to turn it on again for a second because this little baby bee was coming up here. Just coming around. I thought it was cute. So we'll watch her a second and I'll shut you back off again. Oh, we got some photo bombers again. Oh, there she is. Ha, ha, ha.